This morning we're at Clyde Telephone Exchange on the North Norfolk coast. Our project is to provide nesting boxes for owls and kestrels at some of our more rural buildings throughout the UK. The decline of these iconic birds can be put down to the loss of nesting sites, barns being developed, lack of hollow trees, modern farming and a reduction in grasslands where they hunt. BTFS have provided most of the support for this project, they provided the funding for the building of the initial nesting boxes. Four out of five of our um, nesting barn owls now need uh, artificial nest boxes to nest in. We're losing all the old barns, we're losing all the old trees that are their traditional nesting places. So working together with landowners like BT in a, a project like this is absolutely vital. The beauty of this project is by reducing our grounds maintenance by 50%. Here at Cly Telephone Exchange, the cost of the project is zero to the business. Quite simply, by allowing the grass to grow longer, encouraging wildflower meadows, we're encouraging other natural wildlife to sustain and flourish. BT obviously is an owner and manager of many different facilities up and down the country, you know, is uniquely placed really to make a difference for wildlife so they can use the skills and expertise that are provided through this project to make improvements for wildlife. We're an outdoor and environmental education centre, so children come here to stay residentially on day trips. Having an owl box here is really exciting because we can include that as part of their visit here. We should be able to put a live webcam in there so that when they're nesting we'll be able to look at the chicks. At the moment it's, it's an early stage for us because we won't really know how successful it's been until after the breeding season finishes in July we'll be able to survey some of our boxes to see if they've been successful. The majority of our boxes are made in-house and we're also currently talking to Her Majesty's Prison Service in Norwich who are keen to assist us. We're looking hopefully to end up with over 300 barn owl boxes positioned across the United Kingdom, across the area that is looked after by BT.